The first lesson I learned from loving Medusa is that there are no statues in her garden that didn't deserve to be there. I'm loving in an era where men claim it's unsafe to love women. But then again, my love's always been the farthest thing from a man's. How many women do you see in Medusa's garden? The second lesson I learned from loving Medusa is that I hold gentle hands, touch nothing like a man. I was so scared to embrace lesbianism, afraid of loving her like a man would. The antithesis of a woman loving a woman and a man beheading one is the nurturing. Men take teeth as a sign of aggression. Medusa says I have a beautiful smile. She took my hand in hers and said, this is consent. You are safe here. We are safe together. There's a garden of nothing but statues and I will protect you. The third lesson I learned from loving Medusa is that you can feel comfortable. There's nothing quite like loving a woman as a woman, as a lesbian, as a dyke. She is not my other half. We are two worlds too powerful for others. And Medusa says men hunt beautiful things, attracted to shiny objects they feel entitled to. Like, like women who say no, they can only hope to destroy us when they cannot have us the way they want. You may think you know us because you've seen us through a screen through a man's eyes on a screen with the right amount of clothing, but you will never be us. The fourth lesson I learned from loving Medusa is that even a garden full of statues will not stop a god or a man's arrogance or the police's willful blind I. She tells me the tales of the men who hurt her. She tells me, men will kill you, so do not smile and make sure your snakes hiss loudly. And she says that no matter the snakes you sprout, someone will always find a way to cut out your tongue. So, so it is enough, enough just, just to keep speaking, speaking, even with a voice that trembles. Hold boulders in your cheeks if you have to. Do what you need to to stay alive. Pray to any god that will believe you, like Medusa, or Sappho, or, or any woman who knows the stone cold hands of a man, or any woman. The fifth lesson I learned from loving Medusa is, is that, that love cannot solve everything. The slurs cut deeper than swords sometimes. And anger can only bring you so far. Medusa wipes my cheeks when I say, I feel like I can't protect you, like I'm powerless. So I wrap myself up in her arms. Choose love and anger. Say, I am a dyke. Whether you want me to be or not. I take up space. Whether you want me to or not. I speak loud. I speak soft. My love has never been like a man. And Medusa has never been the villain. Your inability to make women feel safe is not my problem. We were both born from the same rib. That's why our hands fit so well together. Me too is not a threat to anyone who doesn't deserve to feel threatened. Medusa taught me that I hold the power to stop men in their tracks and say, no, you cannot look at me. I owe you nothing. Not the time of day. Not a smile. Not, not a polite tone. Not, not a caged tongue. Women are more than your wet dreams served on a silver platter. You have you've consumed enough women. You will not consume us. I have loved a woman labeled monster held her gentle hands and became one myself. But this monster gets a happy ending as she creates one. And the best lesson I learned from loving Medusa is that I am no man's prey.